Today I would like to analyze uh, the last terror, uh, the terror attack last Friday, Friday against the Azerbaijan Embassy in the capital of Islamic Republic of Iran in Tehran. As you know, uh, Iranian high-ranking officials, Foreign Minister Ab Amr Abdullahian and spokesperson of Iranian Foreign Minister uh, Nasser Kanani, they have uh, they have uh, expressed that that it wasn't a terror attack. It uh, and behind this uh, action uh, there is a, a personal motive, but we know that. And it's clear that uh, it is incorrect, it's absolutely incorrect. It was a terror attack against Azerbaijan embassy. And as you know, an um, attacker entered the embassy building and opened fire and murdered the head of security ser service of Azerbaijan embassy and wounded two other persons. Uh, today, I would like to uh, analyze uh, uh, Mohammed uh, Bagher Galibov's, Ira uh, Iran's parliament speaker, Mohammed Bagher Galibov's uh, remarks about this issue, about this terror attack. Uh, he, uh, he was this person, uh, Galibov, was in, uh, uh, has participated in the uh, parliamentary union organizations of uh, Islamic countries. He has said that uh, Azerbaijan uh, must be vigilant and attentive uh, about this uh, action, about this incident, because it was a, a, it was a personal uh, personal attack, and uh, there is a personal motive on this issue. But uh, like uh, Galibov and other uh, high-ranking officials of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, they don't want or they are unable to accept this terror attack, this incident as a terror attack. They cannot and they don't want. But it is a heinous attack. It is a tragedy. And one person was murdered. But until this time, Iranian officials, it doesn't matter, President of Iran, uh, Ibrahim Raisi, uh, and um, Iran's parliament speaker and Iran's foreign ministry, they don't want to accept this incident as a terror attack. Uh, I think that Iran, why Iran doesn't want to accept this uh, incident as a terror attack? Iran first, by and large, Islamic Republic of Iran, and of course, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corp, they don't, they uh, cannot accept the sovereignty, the independence of Azerbaijan, Repu Azerbaijan Republic after the collapsing of Soviet Union and Azerbaijan regained its independence in 1991. Other, I think that if they want uh, to bolster uh, the bilateral relations after this incident, I think that they, first of all, Iranian government and Iranian government, also the supreme leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, and other all high ranking officials all high-ranking officials must urgently accept this incident as a terror attack against Azerbaijan embassy. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, this uh, this relations this relations will have will have false outcomes, false consequences. And as you know, Azerbaijan diplomats, Azerbaijan embassy was evacuated from Tehran, but Azerbaijan consulate will be active in other city uh, of Iran in Tabriz. I think that in the near future, I don't, I can't say exactly time. Uh, I haven't got in a punctual uh, time, but the relations between Azerbaijan and Islamic Republic uh, of Iran will be those. And if Iran wants to bolster, to develop the relations, First of all, we demand impartial, neutral investigation involving in, uh, also Azerbaijan prosecutors and uh, Azerbaijan attorneys uh, together with Iranian, with their Iranian counterparts. Otherwise, uh, this, uh, the 
the relations, the bilateral relations between Baku and Tehran will have very bad consequences. And that's why, that's why Iran, first of all, Iran, first of all, must admit, must accept this incident as a terror action, as a terror action. Uh, after uh, this acceptance, I think that um, we are vigilant, we are attentive. I think that we, we can come together, we are able to come together and discuss and we can settle the problems between two countries. Otherwise, it will be uh, very, very difficult, very, very difficult to develop the bilateral mutual relations between Tehran and Baku. And I hope that Iran will understand sooner the reality, the fact and will apologize and also will accept this incident as a terror attack against Azerbaijan, diplomats Azerbaijan embassy.